in any of your experiences, what is it that made you angry? What were the conflicts about? So here is where I can ask Ms. Sharon. Ms. Sharon, in any of your experiences as you were a student, if you can go back that far, no, I'm only kidding, <laughs> what was it that made you angry? What makes you angry now? Can you give a short example? Well, you know, I, I have always been... Um, even back then, an overachiever. So if I studied real hard and I didn't get the grade that I wanted to get, mm -hmm. you know. So if you studied real hard and didn't get the grade, okay. You know, so didn't, didn't make hard. the grade, then, you know, um, I would be angry about that. Um, as as a, a young person, I was all, also a very shy student. Mm -hmm. Although I was a hardworking student, I was very, very shy. And, you know, sometimes uh, kids can make bad decisions, wrong decisions by picking on or bullying those that are more oh, quiet. That so often. And I remember being very angry mm -hmm. because that happened to me a lot. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I found the courage to build my self-confidence and not allow those negative um, behaviors or decisions of others affect me. Oh, and... Um, Good. Here I am that's today. A, that's a great ex short example. So yes. let's identify those situations that produce disagreements so that you can learn to avoid them. Here are some basic reasons that people get upset with one another. We're going to match the following conflicts. Here are two people want to use the same thing at the same time. Should we match that up to like a toy or a book? Or maybe they want to sit in the same chair and next to someone they both like? or such as go to two different movies and they can't decide which movie to see together so they argue and each is trying to show that their idea, of course, is better. Mm -hmm. Or is it of another person's looks, talents, or possessions? So we have two people want to use the same things at the same time, two people may want to do different things and someone is jealous. Miss Sharon, which do you think two people want to use the same things at the same time? Which should we match this up to? Like a toy or book, and maybe they want to sit. You are correct. So two people want to use the same things at the same time is matching up to like a toy or a book, or maybe they want to sit in the same chair next to someone they both like. What about two people may want to do different things? How about uh, maybe going to two different movies and they can't decide? Excellent. So that's right. And, and each of them is trying to show that their idea is better. So mm -hmm. that actually matches the following conflicts. The last one, obviously, someone is jealous, matches up to, that means of another person's looks, possibly talents or possessions. Excellent. Match more conflicts. Someone feels put down, insulted, or rejected. Which of these three would it be? Such as spilling a drink on us in a lunchroom? They say it was an accident, but we think they did on purpose. Or there's one here by what people, what someone else says or does, yes. or of another person's looks, talents, and possessions. So someone feels put down, insulted, or rejected. Which one, Ms. Sharon, would that go to? By what someone else says or does. By what someone else says or does. You are correct. And what about someone is jealous? Of another person's looks, talents, talents and... Excellent. And mm -hmm. somebody does something to us that we don't like, goes to, such as getting a drink on us during lunchroom. They'll say it was an accident, but we think it was done on purpose. So that, those are all really good examples of conflicts. There are ways you can deal with these situations, boys and girls, that they happen so that you don't end up in a bad argument or fight. Now we want to match the following conflicts to these creative solutions. Here's the first one. Two people want the same thing. Would that mean introduce the idea of conflict resolution? Would that mean introduce the idea of compromise? When we compromise, it says usually no one gets exactly what he or she wants. But getting some of what you want is better than getting nothing or getting to a fight. And the second one is people want to do different things. Could that one possibly be this one? Can they take terms. Can they both use it together? Or can one of them decide to use something else? So Ms. Sharon, there are two different conflicts here. We want you to tell us the two people want the same thing conflict, which would be the creative solution? It could be um, maybe uh, introduce the idea of compromise. 
No. Ah. Okay. So I think you did that on purpose because I think you, yeah. So it is actually that they can take turns. They yes. want to do the same thing, but they can take turns. And they, both, they might be able to use it together or can one of them decide to use something else. So people want to do different things, obviously will be, let's get it over there, to introduce the idea of compromise. And compromise is so important when you compromise. You're being fair, you're working it out. You know, you're being honest, you know, and that is a lot of things of life skills rolled up into one. I, I love that part of it. Let's go to the next. Match two more conflicts with some creative solutions at least, or at least an understanding. So here's a conflict. Somebody does something to us that we don't like. Do you express your feelings by saying, when did you blank it or made me feel blank? This way you can stand up for your rights in a way that doesn't put the other person down mm -hmm. or would it be understand that the real problem underlying the situation is that the person is feeling inferior somebody does something to us that we don't like is the conflict what would be the creative solution out of these two express your feelings express your feelings correct because that is something that you need to do, and that's part of communication. You're expressing your feelings. You're not getting angry. You're just talking about it and working it out. Here's one. A person feels put down, insulted, rejected, or jealous of someone else's looks, talents, or possessions. Obviously, there's only one left, and that is the conflict solution. It's going to be understand that the real problem underlying this situation is that the person is feeling inferior. And so many kids and young adults feel very much inferior, and they don't know how to express that or communicate that. And that's when anger starts to build, frustration starts to build, sadness, disappointment. You know, it's amazing, amazing. So we want to always remember that there are conflict resolutions for all conflicts that we experience. And remember, it's our decision on how we're going to act and feel.